Now I am going to discuss the problem number 6.10 of the chapter work energy power of NCERT class 11. The problem is that a body is moving along the straight path that means unidirectionally. We have to find the displacement of the body at any time t. As we have to determine the displacement of the body at any time t, hence first of all we have to find the v and then we can integrate it to find the displacement. To find the value of v, we know that the power will be equal to dk by dt where k is the kinetic energy. That means power will be equal to rate of change in kinetic energy. By the integration, we can get the value of k and as we know that the value of k is half mb square and hence we can get the value of v and from v we can get the value of x at t equal to 0 the kinetic energy of the body is 0 at any time t the kinetic energy of the body is k integration of dk will be k and the integration will take place from 0 to k value of power p is constant hence it will come out from the integral and the integration of dt will be equal to t and the integration will take place from 0 to t after integration you can get the value of kinetic energy k equal to pt and the value of kinetic energy k equal to half mb square from this we can get the value of speed v right from half mb square equal to pt the value of v will come out to root over 2 pt by m now we have to write down the value of v equal to dx by dt and to get the value of x we have to integrate the value of dx by dt is root over 2 p by m into root over t and this value is constant now to get the value of x we have to integrate hence the integration of dx from 0 to x as this value is constant hence it will come out from the integral and just we have to integrate root over t from 0 to t to integrate root over t dt we have to use this basic formula of integration x raised to the power n dx will be equal to x raised to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus some constant hence t raised to the power half the value of n equals to half hence we can write down half plus 1 that means t raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. This one is the integration of this one, right? And the integration of dx is x and the integration will take place from 0 to x. This constant quantity will come out here and the integration of this one will be equal to t raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Integration will take place from 0 to t. After putting upper limit and lower limit in LHS and RHS, you can get the value of x equals to root over 2p by m into 2 by 3 t raised to the power 3 by 2. Hence, as this value is constant, then we can say that the displacement of the body at any time t is proportional to t raised to the power 3 by 2.